Authorities in Delaware County say he preyed on a child while working as a Boy Scout troop leader and teacher. Tonight, this 68-year-old man is facing sex abuse charges, and officials fear there may be other victims who have yet to come forward. It is Tuesday night, and the big story on Action News is a retired Philadelphia teacher and former Boy Scout leader behind bars for unlawful sexual contact with a child. And investigators say he admitted to the inappropriate behavior. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin is live from Girard College in Fairmount with the details tonight. Caroline. Well, Rick, this is a really shocking and disturbing case. Authorities tell us that that former teacher met the alleged victim here at Girard College. This is a school for students who come from families with limited financial resources or single parent households. And tonight we're hearing from the president here at the college who tells us that they just learned about these allegations today. He was a teacher at Girard College for 41 years. When Keith Steidinger retired from the school in 2022, they posted these pictures and an article about the impact he had on students as an educator and a Boy Scout troop leader. Dozens, of course, and hundreds of kids uh, he's been able to have contact with. We hope this is a one off. But uh, our fear is it could be more. Concern is growing tonight as 68 year old Steininger remains behind bars, accused of sexually abusing one of his former students. According to the criminal complaint, the alleged assaults occurred from 2018 to 2020, when the victim was 11 to 13 years old. The complaint states the incidents happened when the victim would stay at Steininger's home in Upland Borough on the weekends. He was at that time living with his biological mother. Uh, he is now living with foster parents here in Delaware County. It was the victim's foster mother who called police in January to report what had happened, prompting an investigation. And just last week, uh, there was then a, a phone call that was placed with detectives on the line, a consensual recording uh, where the defendant admitted to the behavior. The complaint states that during that call, the defendant further admitted that he enjoys showing physical affection to and with other children. That has law enforcement worried there could be other victims. The president of Girard College is responding to the charges in a statement, saying, I am shocked and angered by these deeply troubling allegations. And the college has pledged our full cooperation with Delaware County law enforcement officials in their continuing investigation of this case. And the president here at the college went on to say that all employees here are mandated to go through certain background checks. He also says they're going to provide counseling for any students and families here at Girard College who may need that in the future. As for Steininger, he was arraigned on several charges. He's being held on $250,000 bail, and he's due back in court on May 2nd. That's the latest live in Fairmount. I'm Caroline Goggin, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. Caroline, thank you.